won't form a coherent thought. Just know I have a lot to say and several things to be enraged about. I can't do everything for you, so fill in the blanks. Warning, your storage is almost full at 18%. Okay, can someone explain how 18% is almost full? You ever fantasize about sharing fruit or someone washing your hair for you and you're like, oh, I am just a little pack animal. My love language is indeed monkey instincts. Monkey. Monkey. Being a macro-organism is so stressful. I want to know what my cells are doing. I don't like how unsupervised they are. My cells govern themselves. I'm just mostly a figurehead. My body is a constitutional monarchy, and I am its powerless queen. Bohemian Rhapsody, We Will Rock You, Somebody to Love, all hit singles. And all the direct product of a band that was formed when an astrophysicist and a dentistry major found a new friend in an art college, who then went to recruit a fourth member from the electronic school. Based on this alliance, I propose the rift in society between arts and STEM students was fabricated to keep us separated so as to dilute our true power. And fabricated by who, you may ask? The business major. The only member of society who reaps no reward from art and science, and thus must weaken us so as to stay ahead. In this essay, I will... Where... Where's the essay, OP? Life hack. If someone makes a racist slash sexist joke, say, with total seriousness, I don't get it, can you please explain it? Then watch them crash and... Burn! <laughs> it's so weird that Daisy Ridley is eyeballing that Lara Croft role in the Tomb Raider reboot. Like, sure, Star Wars was really big, but you can't just be a beloved space hero in one franchise and also be a big name as some kind of combat archaeologist. Who's ever doubled up like that? <laughs> Call out post! You! You're a good person and you treat yourself unfairly. A lot of people are reblogging this post with, No, I'm trash. And I just want to say, Listen, you little problematic fuck. You have more value than you realize. Fucking love yourself, goddammit! Abba waited until our darkest moments, when the world needed them most, and then they returned. Avatar. My sister is making mac and cheese on the other side of the house. You have a nose? Yeah. Wow. Small world. Oh, thinking about girl wizards again. Not witches. Witches are responsible and ecologically knowledgeable and stuff like that. Wizards are like, <laughs> I'm gonna do indivisible magics. Yeah, they do be like that. I'm watching Planet Earth, and there's this one small scene where the most crowned seal ever swims past. And I'd just like to thank David Attenborough for bringing us this good, good orb seal. Bless you. I just don't understand how this happened, but here's a picture of a lemon from my backyard. What the ever-loving fuck? You know, you know what they say, when life gives you lemons, OKAY SACRIFICES! Dear Rat, for hours you have chewed through my ethernet cable, limiting me from accessing my Tumblr blog. But now, I finally have you trapped, hey? Whoa, 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 you can't keep chewing, I need to post this trap! When you need to pay respects. What? Where's the time signature? Are you telling me you need a time signature to play one note for a joke post? And for all you non-music people, here, allow me to clarify this joke for you. That's the note F. Mona Lisa and her possum. Oh, this isn't real. You can't just post fake stuff on the internet. I am so upset because I want this to be real so bad. Well, it can be real if you believe and or help me break into the Louvre. Someday I want to see a show that does the no filler episodes thing from the opposite direction. Just a whole season worth of low stakes character pieces that seem to move the overall story absolutely nowhere. 
Then episode 26 pulls all the triggers at once, and this massive Rube Goldberg machine of a plot the show's been quietly setting up for the background the whole time hits you like a truck. Now, I'm no expert on this, but I'm pretty sure there's two shows out there that have done this. Andy put up a picture of the amazing world of Gumball and Rick and Morty. I'm just saying. Just saying. Probably more so Gumball. My favorite self-care tip is to pretend you're a demon inhabiting a human's body and you gotta look after it. Treat it right, cause these things are weak as fuck, man, and you gotta protect your host. You know? That might actually work. Is the sugar a seasoning? I did not come scrolling through Tumblr at 4 a.m. to be assaulted with this. <laughs> I don't... I don't know, man. I always laugh when somebody declares James Potter on the verge of expulsion for his pranks and fic. Because Malfoy was literally a Death Eater trying to kill the Headmaster. And Dumbledore was like, Hey, let's just see if we can gently glide him away from this. I'm pretty sure the only thing that gets you expelled at Hogwarts is if you actually have straight up murdered someone. <clears throat> Tom Riddle straight up murdered someone. And Dumbledore just keeps an annoyingly close eye on him. So no, that didn't even work either. Fun fact! It's coming. I'm already here! Get away!